In this video, we're going to look at an example of a confidence interval for a difference in proportions. So the prompt says, a study of 150 university students found that 40, of 40 out of the 75 women live off campus and 55 of the 75 men live off campus. All right, so right here, notice that we have two different groups. We've got women and we've got men. So that automatically tells me I'm probably going to be working with some kind of difference. Also, notice they're asking them, do they live on or off campus? So that's a categorical variable. So we're going to have a difference in proportions here. And he goes on to say, find the 95% confidence interval for the true difference between these two proportions in the populations of female and male students at this university if the margin of error is 0 0.1558. What can you conclude? All right. So as always, we are going to start by checking our sample size. Okay, so we have two different groups here. The first one is women. So we've got 40 women live off campus. Well, if 40 of the 75 live off campus, that tells me that 35 women live on campus. And from the men, we find that 55 of the 75 men live off campus. So 55 men live off campus. And so if 55 out of the 75 live off, that means that 20 men live on campus. So notice that the counts are all greater than 10. So the sample size requirement is met. All right, so next we're going to calculate our confidence interval. All right, so remember that our confidence interval is always gonna be our statistic plus or minus our margin of error. So in this case, we have a difference in proportions between men and women. So we could denote that as p hat for the women minus p hat for the men. And so notice from the women, we had 40 out of the 75. And for the men, we had 55 out of the 75. So that is the same thing as negative 15 divided by 75. Whoop, sorry about that. Sorry about that, he barks whenever the mailman comes. All right, so we were looking at, we've got our statistic plus or minus our margin of error. And we already identified our statistic up here as negative 15 divided by 17. Pardon me, divide it by 75. So if we take negative 15 divided by 75, we're going to find that that is equal to negative 0 0.2. Plus or minus, and we're given that our margin of error is 0 0.1558. So now to get our interval, we're going to take negative 2 minus 0 0.1558. You're putting that in your calculator. For your lower bound, we get negative 0.3558. And then to get the upper bound, we're going to take negative 0.2 plus 0.1558. And that gives us negative 0.0442. All right, so there is our range of reasonable values for the parameter. So last, we can give our interpretation. So notice for this one, we made a 95% confidence interval. So we are 
95% confident. Now notice that this entire interval is negative, and since we had females listed first, and it's negative, that tells me that females, or that the um, percentage of females that live out of state is somewhere between 0.3558 and 0.0442 less than the percentage of men. So writing that out, we are 95% confident that the proportion of women who live off campus is between 0 0.0442 and 0.3558 less so notice this less is taking care of the negative signs up here compared to men. So also notice here, since zero is not in the interval, what that tells me is that the two proportions, men being equal to women, is not a reasonable value. So we really do think that there are less women who live off campus compared to men.